The son of a local radio DJ murdered in Northwest Jacksonville. Today, police identified him as 24-year-old Desmond White. He was found mortally wounded on Moncrief Road near Royal Court Lane around this time yesterday evening after reports of shots fired in the area. White is the fourth person to be killed in Northwest Jacksonville in recent weeks. News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris talked with a local community activist who says these crimes will not be solved unless the community tells the truth. Janice. That's right, and 86 deaths this year. You know, Desmond White was the 86th murder of this year. 86 families that have been torn apart by irreversible violence. Another person has been murdered in Jacksonville. Last night, police say 24-year-old Desmond White was killed on the city's northwest side. Community activist Donald Foy of Mad Dads believes someone knows who is murdering these young people, but too many people are living by a code of silence and fear. How do we expect for the police to solve it and they weren't even there? So we as a community have got to break the code of silence and start telling what we know. There have been four homicides on the northwest side this month, two confirmed as murders. October 6th, 21-year-old Tynikia Tanner died on Cleveland Road. October 13th, 23-year-old Darian McGugan died on Dublin Court. October 21st, a teen died on West 45th Street. And last night, Desmond White died on Royal Court Lane. White's father, a well-known local radio personality, posted on social media, quote, Desmond White lives. No arrests have been made for the two murders. Foy says that the shooting of six people at A. Philip Randolph and Pippin in front of that laundromat is a prime example of the code of silence in this city. It's the six people being shot on the east side. There was a whole crowd of people out there, you know, and you're going to tell me nobody saw anything or nobody know anything. So far, no one has been arrested for the shooting in front of the laundromat and the condition of the six victims has not been released. We as victims have rights and our rights is to be in a crime, violent, drug free neighborhood. A right that Foy says every community can have if they tell the truth and stop living in fear of retaliation. And so far, for all of these crimes, no arrests have been made. You can always anonymously report information if you have it to police through Crime Stoppers anonymously. That number, 866-845-TIPS. Live at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.